Hey guys, welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar, and the developer has responded to feedback. We got some additional changes that will be coming to Warframe with the Arsenal Divide alongside the Sisters of Parvos update. Now, in case you're unfamiliar with what's going on right now in Warframe, there will be some huge changes coming to melee, to range weapons, to the helmet system. There's even a Parazon Kills rework. Click the cards right now for more details, and of course, all the relevant links will be left in the description down below. But let's jump right into this one. Now, after the first dev workshop, we had some feedback regarding some of these changes and the developer has responded. The response comes courtesy of DE Rebecca over on the forums. And again, you got a link just so you can check the source of the info. Let's talk Dexterity Arcanes. There will be six new Arcanes. Free for primary, free for secondary, they do the exact same thing, so do bear that one in mind. They added 60% holster speed. One last thing that wasn't mentioned in the other dev workshop text form, that is the plus 7.5 combo duration that also comes with the dexterity arcanes. You see, Digital Extremes has this idea of us using our entire arsenal where we, when we're fighting in Warframe. Not just primary weapons or secondary weapons or melee weapons, but the entire shebang. Yes, they're nothing if not uh, ambitious, are they not? But we also get a nerf. <laughs> yes, they're not even in the game yet, but they're getting nerfed. The Merciless Arcane Duration will be toned down from 6 seconds to 4 seconds. And yes, it's still on kill. So that's the one part of the feedback they did not address. It's still gonna be an on kill effect. Apparently, they're very confident in this uh, mode of applying the buff. Let's talk about galvanized mods, my friends. The drain was a bit high and they toned it down, but then, then toned it up, in this case at least. And to be honest, it's still pretty high. It's not much of a change from my humble point of view. So do bear that one in mind. Yes, they toned down a couple and toned up another one. The problem is we got so many uh, mods right now in Warframe, they could have just reworked the existing versions in, instead of us having to farm these essentially pumped up already existing versions of the mods and having to max them all out again and so on and so forth. But there you go, my friends, beggars can't be choosy. So Galvanized Diffusion up to 14, Galvanized Cell up to 16, Galvanized Chamber up to 16, but Scope, Aptitude, Acceleration, Savvy, Crosshairs and Shot down to 12 from 4. Team. And you can read the reasoning here. One more thing. Galvanized mod acquisition. Now, basically we said the following. Hey, dear developer, you know, we complain to you that we can't do steel path with ranged weapons and you hide the buffs to ranged weapons behind steel path? <laughs> That's in that count the sound weird? And they did something about it. They moved the rewards from steel essence to the other type of essence, my friends. Yes, we're gonna have to do arbitrations and stuff. So instead of having to farm a whole lot of Steel Essence, we're gonna have to farm Vitus Essence instead. So get to Arbitrations, my friends, get some, so you have everything you need once the update hits. And I saved, or better said, they saved the best for lads. My friends, we've been asking for this change ever since the Exilus mod was introduced to weapons. Boom! Sinister Reach and Ruinous Extension will now be Exilus slots on weapons. That is just absolutely freaking insane, man. This is the best change so far. And unfortunately, my friends, they haven't really done anything regarding the whole Steel Essence despawn timer. That's still a thing. I still don't understand that change. I think that's gonna piss off a whole lot of the community. But there you go. The developer is very, how do I put this, confident in their artistic vision. And that's pretty much it, my friends. As always, my name is Ben Lazar. Like, share, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you got any sorts of feedback for me, by all means, drop it in the comment section down below. But more importantly than that, in the comment section down below, what do you think of these changes? Did they hit the mark or did they miss the entire point completely? I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!